Hello. In the latest Facebook post, Li Xianyang stated that he had already received uh, refugee status to live in UK. Of course, the media start to inquire, to query the Singapore government. So the Singapore government has given its response. Go, go to uh, his Facebook and you can read about it. Uh, politics aside, I'm not going to talk about uh, this thing, but I'm going to talk about the Lee family from my or cabin crew perspective. What type of people they are. That was, of course, many years ago. Li Xian Yang and wife were on board, of course, travel with SIA quite often, but I've never served them before. But according to some of the crew, they were nice people, unassuming, don't say much, of course, but they don't give you trouble. You know? But I had served founding Prime Minister Mr. Lee Kuan Yew, Dr. Lee Wei Ling, even the Lee Kuan Yew's mother, I've uh, flown with her once. They were all nice, I mean unassuming people, despite holding high position. Even Freddie Lee, the younger brother of Lee Kuan Yew, was one of my favourite passengers. They are nice, fair. I give you an example. Mr. Lee, the late Mr. Lee Kuan Yew, everybody was, uh, you know, revered him so much, they were afraid to serve him. But I, I was happy to look after him. But I learned a few things from him. Like, for example, the office told me, I was an in flight supervisor then, that do not give out cigarettes in the first class. We used to distribute cigarettes after meal service and in between meal service to the first class passengers. But on Mr. Lee's flight, the office would stop us from doing that. It's not on the Kuan Yew's instruction or the PMO's instruction. It was just an initiative by the cabin crew management. So <clears throat> we don't serve cigarettes on the flight. When he was on board, and there was one passenger who smoked in the first class. And I politely told him that my Prime Minister has got sinus. If you could put off the cigarettes, I would be very happy. And when he heard about that, and he called me aside and he told me off, you know, Mr. Lee Kuan Yew, he said, You don't tell. Uh, a fair paying passenger not to smoke because of me. That's not fair. See, so I was told off by him. I mean, I can't explain to him that the office told me blah, blah, blah. I just accepted the correction and said, so sorry, I won't do it again. Then there was the toilet. There, there were two first class toilets and he was very particular about cleanliness. And the crew went to lock one of them for him, he found out. He was hmm, quite upset. So he told the crew, don't you ever do that again. It's not fair to the other first class passengers to reserve a toilet for me. See? Good man. You know, the wife is, was also very nice. When I couldn't uh, fulfill or oblige Mr. Lee's uh, request, or acceded to his request, like newspapers, and etc., I would turn to Mrs. Lee Kuan Yew and sort of a, in a low tone said, explain to her there wasn't any available. And she would just turn around and told her husband, Harry, today there's no English newspapers for you or Chinese newspapers for you. So don't, don't harass the crew. <laughs> you know, she always really saved the day for us. Look at the pilot's case in 1981 or something. 
they went on industrial action. Mr. Lee Kuan Yew called the Pilots Association uh, Committee up, as well as uh, the chairman of SI to the Istana and gave them a piece of his mind. Then they went back, renegotiate the, the salary scale, you know, the collective agreement, and settle amicably. So it benefit both parties. It's a win-win situation. So I, in conclusion, I said, this Lee family is really nice from my and my cabin crew perspective. Thank you very much for watching my video.